heart and mind to work. That's interesting. I quite often say to my children, you have to have the right heart, right attitude, uh, you know, to have a, towards this task, and you have to have a heart to work. And then you will succeed. And it's interesting what Word of God says. We will, we will be reading uh, Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6, and First Chronicles chapter 5, 2. So we built the wall, and all of it was joined together to half its height. For the people had a heart and mind to work. Judah prevailed above his brethren, and from him came the prince and leader, and eventually the Messiah. Yet the birthright was Joseph's. When Israelites were building this wall, after they came from exile, they did encounter great opposition. It wasn't friendly people around there. You see, surrounding nations um, didn't want them to rebuild that wall. They didn't want them to go ahead. And so they really attacked them, not just with words, but also with weapons. There was such a great threat to their lives. They tried to stop them. But you see, Israelites determined, they determined no matter what, they are gonna work and build that wall. And in 52 days, they accomplished that. And this is a miracle. You may wonder how did they achieve that? in such a really very awful situation to be. Surrounding nations against you, and not just talking, but really after you with weapons. Let's look how they did it. In Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 6b, it says, They had a heart and mind to work. This is how they succeeded. They did put their heart and mind into their work. They worked hard. Despite the pain that there might have been there of rejection, not being wanted to do be there, but they did their part and they gained the ground. They received that wall, not by God dropping it, you know, into their lap and building it himself. But he used the people. You and I are the people. You and I have to do our part to succeed no matter what. You see, there is no other way that you and I can really succeed, but to put our heart, have the right attitude, and our mind to our task, work hard, be focused. And as we do that, the Lord will bless us and help us to prevail. He will come along and strengthen hands, our hands because we're putting the effort, we're doing what it takes. As he said in his word, every effort of your hand, of your and my hand, he will bless. God will bless you. Make sure, check on yourself. How am I doing this? Am I having the right attitude towards this task that I'm asked to do? Am I having the right attitude towards my parents or my spouse? Or am I grumbling as I'm doing? You know, with grumbling we don't get far. But with right heart attitude, with proper mindset to work hard, 
to do good and God will cheer us up.